Welcome, Facebook friends, to another in the series of Isolation Wine Tastings, Day 38, give or take. I am here quarantined with me, myself, and I. And once again, I have my sidekick, Jeff Prost from Survivor, here. As you can see, we are celebrating Groundhog's Day tomorrow. And why, you might ask? Well, for a couple reasons. First of all, I've been celebrating all the holidays over this course of quarantine. It started with Christmas, followed by Easter, Thanksgiving last weekend, and how appropriate to do Groundhog Day this weekend for a couple reasons. One, I've actually been to Puxatoni, Pennsylvania twice now to celebrate the festivities on February 2nd, the traditional one. However, I have Puxedoni Phil here to celebrate tomorrow for another reason. Once again, he is going to be up in Gobbler's Knob and he's gonna come out from his burrow. If Phil sees his shadow and returns to his hole, he's predicted six more weeks of quarantine. However, if Phil does not see his shadow tomorrow, then he is predicting, with the approval of Dr. Fauci, of course, a gradual transition away from isolation. Now, considering the forecast is calling for rain and thunderstorms this Sunday, I think we have a good shot. He's not going to see his shadow. So that's great news. So if you're a fan of the Groundhog movie by Bill Murray, where he does the same thing over and over and over again, for instance, hitting the alarm clock to the music of... Yes, that's it. I Got You, Babe by Sonny and Cher. You may be experiencing the same thing while you're in isolation. Day in, day out, the same thing over and over again. So with that, it's going to require large quantities of wine. And what better way to pay tribute than to box wines? I know many of you are about to faint when you heard those words come from my mouth. <laughs> well, you know, box wines, when you think of them, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Franzia, right? Mm. Well, I'm not into those sweet wines. But, you know, many other brands, including some expensive box wines, are now coming to the market. Why? For a couple reasons. One, because the wines are vacuum sealed in that plastic bag inside. And that can last for months, you know. In fact, they say six plus weeks upon opening compared to just a few days for the bottled wine. Typically, it contains four uh, standard bottles of wine, so you got quantity there. And then it's also eco-friendly. You know, it represents half the carbon footprint of glass bottles. So of all the box wines that are out there, one that I would recommend is Black Box, as you can see here. I believe it's great for everyday drinking, as well as cooking. Um, it comes in many varieties, including Cabernet Sauvignon. It comes in Chardonnay, Pinot Grigio, Pinot Noir, Shiraz. Sauvignon Blanc, Rosé, Riesling, Merlot, and a red blend, and probably several more. Uh, what you see here is the Cab and the Chardonnay. Uh, these wines are typically priced less than $20 a box, so that calculates to about $5 a bottle, so very reasonable. So today we're going to try the Cab. As you can see, I have the two here. Now previously, we've talked about putting them into different glasses. So I typically wouldn't do this on an everyday wine like this, but I did bring the standard glass. I did bring the Riedel glass out, which is the Bordeaux. We've learned about that previously. And something here, something different. Once again, it's a standard glass. But what I did with the third glass is something similar to what we've done in the past. We've talked about the importance of a decanter or an aerator to you know, allow those wines to breathe, to expose it to air and soften the tannins. So what I did in the third glass, and I'm gonna show you over here, is I hyper aerated it with a blender. So as you'll see here, I simply put it into the blender and I hyper aerated it. Mm, for a less expensive bottle of wine, I figured I'd give it a shot. Now I already did this previously, so it makes it easy. And I have it already in that third glass there. So let's give it a shot. Once again, here's your regular cab. It's an okay bottle of wine. 
Yeah, I put it into the Riedel glass to see if it does any better. Once again, we talked about the Riedel glasses, design of the glass, the Bordeaux here allows the wine to place it perfectly on the palate to get the best taste. You know, for a least expensive bottle of wine, you know, it does taste better. I'll be honest with you there. Um, and then last, this is the aerated one, the one that I sent through the blender. And this is, I think, the first time I've done this. I might have did it once before, but it's been a while. So let's try that. You know, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. So, you know, if you don't have an aerator at home, you know, you might consider not your really expensive bottles of wine, but maybe a, a lower expense bread. Put it through the blender and uh, check it out for yourself. So, my recommendation for these box wines are a couple of things. One, you know, great for outdoor parties in the summer when you want large quantities because they're not that expensive. They're easy to bring around it doesn't require a bottle opener clearly they're excellent to pack in a cooler and take to the beach i typically remove the plastic bag from the box and then um one of my favorites is while you're boating on the lake with friends perfect opportunity so one other important note and you should know this with all box wines i'm going to try and do this let's see if we can do it without making a mess but it's extremely important when you're down to the end, as you can see here, to take out the bag and to literally squeeze it into your glass. <laughs> you don't know how much, when it stops pouring from the box, how much wine is still available in there. So let's not waste wine. Let's make sure we take the plastic bag out, squeeze it into your glass so you get every last drop. So that's it for this weekend. Hopefully you all have a great day. Have a great uh, Groundhog Day in April. Let's hope that he does not see his shadow tomorrow. So I am hoping for rain and thunderstorms tomorrow. So cheers, everyone. Uh, be well. Stay home. Be safe. And one last thing, something new. I put all these isolation wines on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and search isolation wine tastings, You'll find me. This is my seventh one that I've done. You'll see them there and you can subscribe. Thanks. Enjoy. Take care.